Hi viewers, welcome to the next section of the course, Synchronization Between Threads. In this section, we will look at the concepts of deadlocks with an example of dining philosophers. Then we will explore about race condition and shared resources and data races, which includes conditions, semaphore, events and barriers. Also, we'll be introducing some of the fundamental issues that can plague multi-threaded applications if not guarded against. Let us begin with the first video of this section that deals with deadlock and race conditions. In this video, we'll take a look at concept of deadlock with the example of dining philosophers. Then we will learn about race conditions also explaining process execution sequence. Before we cover some of the key synchronization primitives, we must first have a look at some of the issues that can occur from using the said primitives. One of the biggest and most feared issues one can face when designing concurrent systems, that is, deadlock. One of the best ways to illustrate this concept of deadlock is to look at the dining philosopher's problem. The dining philosopher's problem is one of the most famous illustration of some of the problems you can encounter when working in concurrent software systems. This method of eating presents a problem when each of the five philosophers manages to pick up their left fork at the same time. In this diagram, we see just such a situation arise. Each of the five philosophers has picked up the left fork and is now sitting, thinking until such time as the right fork is available. Since every philosopher will never relinquish their fork until they have eaten, the dinner table has reached a deadlocked state and will never go further. This problem illustrates a key issue we may run into when we are designing our own concurrent systems that rely on synchronization primitives, locks, in order to function correctly. Our forks in this example are our system resources and each philosopher represents a competing process. Let's execute this example in a working program. In this example, we are going to implement our own version of the dining philosopher's problem in Python using R locks, which we'll cover later on in this section. These R locks will represent the forks in our problem. So, we will create a new document and name it as diningphilosophers.py. Add the code snippet, as with this, we start defining our philosopher class and constructor. Here, in the philosopher class, which inherits from the Python's native thread class, takes in both a left and a right fork in its constructor function. It then initializes the thread that we can start later on. After we've defined this, then we add this block of code to define our threads run function. In this run function, we first think for a random amount of time between one and five seconds. When our philosopher finishes thinking, we then attempt to acquire the left fork and again sleep for another one to five seconds in order to easily follow the console output. After we've again finished waiting, we go on to try and acquire the right fork so that we can go into an eating state. We eat only very briefly before releasing both the left and right fork. Let's save this file and run it in the terminal to view the desired output. You should see that some of our philosophers may get a chance to eat before releasing both locks. However, very quickly, you will see that every fork has been acquired by a philosopher and it's now stuck in a state where it's attempting to acquire the right fork. In the output, you will see all of our dining philosophers doing a combination of thinking, eating, and acquiring and releasing forks. However, after a certain amount of time, you will eventually hit the scenario where all the philosophers have acquired all left forks and are unable to proceed further. As you can see, it is stuck. Further, let's proceed with race conditions. A race condition or race hazard is the behavior of an electronic, software, or other system where the output is dependent on the sequence or timing of other uncontrollable events. One of the best metaphors to describe a race condition is if we imagine writing a banking application that updates your account balance whenever you deposit or withdraw any money from that account. So, that's all about deadlock and race conditions.